Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome to another card making video. Today I will be using this adorable stamp set. This is a stamp set by Paper Smooches and it is called Twiggy Florets. Today's card is going to be a clean and simple card and uh, the design can uh, uh, be used for pretty much any type of card, whether it's a thank you card, a happy birthday card or whatever. So first of all I am going to create a panel, so I'm using a stitched die. And uh, now that I have my rectangle, I have used a um, white cardstock, I am going to use my blending tool with Distress Ink. The color I am using is my favorite, that's uh, Peacock Feathers. And I am only applying the ink from uh, one uh, corner towards the center. As you can see, I mainly focus on uh, the corner where I mainly apply most of the ink. And as uh, I go to the center, the color fades out. So this is going to be the background for my vase of uh, flowers. Now I am going to stamp uh, the flower. I am using one from the stamp set as well as a leaf. And uh, I'm using uh, black memento ink. Just because I am going to use my Copic markers to color my images. So I, at this point I don't know how many of those uh, leaves I am going to use. So I have stamped a bunch. And uh, now I'm going to use my yellow Copics and uh, just uh, color all the flowers. Now I'm not going to go in any details of how I color everything with uh, Copics. There are tons of uh, videos on YouTube where uh, uh, very talented uh, ladies are sharing the their way of uh, coloring with Copics and uh, so the main idea here is uh, and the technique that I am using is to go from lighter to darker and then uh, blend everything out with my lighter color. So I am uh, using three shades of color for every image. And now I am going to color the leaves and as you can see I am uh, uh, going uh, pretty fast and for the leaves I am only using uh, two colors. I don't mind uh, going outside the lines just because I am going to use my scissors at the end to cut all the images. I am going to take my time and cut out all the flowers and the leaves and uh, all the images that I cut out aren't uh, really perfect but uh, there is a trick for that. When you finish the image you can uh, use a black marker to go all around the edge that uh, will get rid of the white edge and uh, the image will look as if it was cut out perfectly. So I am going to do that on all the leaves and all the flowers. And I have here a vase die. This is a die by Paper Smooches and the set is called Big Vases Dies. So I'm going to cut out the vase out of uh, yellow cardstock. The cardstock that I'm using is actually the Sunshine by Simon Says Stamp. After deciding where everything is going to go, I am uh, marking with my pencil exactly where the top of the vase is. So now that I am going to stamp the stem, I know exactly where this uh, bottom of the stem is going to fall. And notice how I curve the stem so that uh, it can take the curve that I want uh, to have. And also I'm always making sure that uh, the bottom of uh, the stem falls inside the vase. Remember I have the pencil markings to help me out. As always you can find a full list of all the supplies that I'm using today just below the video if you're watching on YouTube in the description area or on my blog. To stick the vase down I am going to use a foam square at the back just to add a little bit of dimension and I am going to stick uh, the flowers with uh, foam squares at the back as well. I love dimension on my cards, you probably know that already if you are following my channel and uh, I just can't uh, make a simple uh, one layer card no matter what I do. I am going to use my Wink of Stella glitter, glitter pen and add some shimmer on uh, the flowers and uh, I will be using my white uh, Signo gel pen to add some dots at the center of the flowers. Now notice how I add the dots only where uh, the light falls. So I mainly focus on the part of uh, the center where it's uh, lighter colored.
to stick the leaves down I am using my glue pen and uh, before I stick them down I make sure that uh, I add a little bit of curve on the leaves with my fingers. That way the leaves do add a little bit of dimension too. To add just a touch of interest on my vase, I am uh, using my gel pen and adding two white lines at uh, the top of the vase and uh, now I am ready to stamp the sentiment. I am going to stamp things, which is uh, one of the sentiments included in the stamp set. I am using again my black ink since I have that on my table. And my main panel is uh, ready. Now all I have to do is to assemble the card. So I have a card base here. That's a top folding card and it's a standard size. That's four and a quarter by five and a half. I am going to stick my panel at the center of my card base and I am using some uh, foam tape at the back. The foam tape that I am using now is not very bulky and it will add just a little bit of dimension, not, but uh, not too much. So I'm centering the panel there and uh, now that uh, my card is almost finished I am going to add uh, just uh, some uh, finishing touches. So first of all I am using my glossy accents at the center of uh, the flowers. Adding glossy accents over Wink of Stella really has a lovely result and um, although it looks milky at the moment it will dry, dry totally clear. And finally I'm adding some uh, glossy accents over the vase. And this uh, will finish my card for today. So here is a close-up look on the card and you can see some uh, close-up photos at the end. So that was the card for today. I hope you had fun and got inspired. And if you did, don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me thumbs up on my YouTube channel. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure to do so since uh, that's the way to tell me that you love my videos and you want to see more. And here are three more cards where I have used paper smoochy stamps. You can click on the images, but if you are watching from a mobile device, then you can find all the links just below the video. Thank you all for watching!